Hey guys, and welcome to the second episode of The Creative Convo. If you're new to my YouTube channel or you're just tuning in, this is a conversation between creatives just chopping it up, talking about the struggles of being a creative, the balance you have to have if you're still working your nine to five, and just the ins and outs and in-betweens and the creative journey along the way. And today, I have this dope individual sitting next to me. When I say dope, I mean super dope. He is an artist, and when I say artist, all around artist. Like he is a music artist, he's a lyricist. Like you give him anything, and he can rock out with it. The infamous, <laughs> the undisputed <laughs> Wellsby hey. is in the building today. Let's just What's give going him a round on, of applause. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm happy to be here. Thank you for that intro. That was dope. That was dope. Yeah, all all around. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to be here, yo. This is crazy. This is dope. Bro, I'm super excited to have you today. Thank and, you. you know, I just want to get right into it. Okay. So just tell us a little bit about your creative journey so far. Ooh, so um, my creative journey, I really started way back in the day. I was one of those babies that liked to be outside. Okay. Um, messing around with textures in the dirt. Oh. Listening to, like, the birds and stuff outside, like wow. woodpeckers. And I just, I had a natural uh, draw to, like, rhythm mm. and just creativity out in the world. So started from there, I uh, got involved in church. I was in the church choir. Uh, I was mad shy, you know, I was like singing, I'm like, oh, my Zion, you know? That was the first song you That was the jam, though. No, that was the jam, but I was whispering. I was like looking down. But, you know, since then, um, I've just become more comfortable with uh, just how I creatively express. Yeah. You know, and I find that, you know, art and music are like two powerful mediums. Mm. And those are the ones that really drew me the most. Yeah. So. Let's see, uh, from there, I started to uh, write my own music uh, in high school and in college. And now it's been about maybe eight years where I've been like producing my own content, uh, writing my own songs and uh, working on visuals and merch and just different kind of things that way. Bro, yeah, that's so much. That's why I said he's like the <laughs> ultimate artist. Like there's nothing that he like does not Nah, do. come on now, come on now. I just, I love it, I love it. And I love collaborating too. So I've been Same. able to just ping pong off of other people's yeah. ideas and stuff too. It's been great. Talk a little bit about the writing process. Like, what's that like for you? You know, I'm going to be honest. When I was younger, um, I was writing a lot of, like, gospel songs. Mm -hmm. So it was very personal. You know, mm -hmm. I would, like, kind of feel my own uh, feelings on a topic or wanting yeah. to connect with God or just yeah. whatever it is. And from there, I found that, like, writing about your real life and your real life experiences, yeah. it produces a different level of uh, just soul that you can feel through music. Transparency. You know, transparency, being vulnerable. So um, I think... My writing process now starts at, what am I feeling? What am I trying to convey? Yeah. And how do I get that across to the audience? You know? Wow. So I, I'll sit down in my room some days. I'll, I'll start with producing, and I'll mm -hmm. feel music and see how, where it brings me to. Yeah. Uh, other times, I may just sit with a pen, go for a long drive, and like record voice memos and voice notes. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah. It just it depends, really. Wow. It depends on what I'm doing. But those are my three processes. That's insane. <laughs> right. See, this is why I'm, I'm all over the place, because I got writing, audio recording, or just somebody send me some music and let's see what we feel and vibe out to. That's crazy. Yeah. Like, just the fact that your brain could, like, have so many processes to get to the ultimate goal of mm. creating mm -hmm. music. Yeah. By the way, I just want to say that Higher hey. and Flavors are hey. my two favorite songs hey. that you have come out with. Thank Bruh. you. Thank you. Thank you. Bruh. Yeah. He's taking me high. Hey. He's taking me high. 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 Oh. <laughs> That's my jam. That's my jam. And I was able to collaborate um, with Wayne Wilkins. Mm. Uh, he was actually, listen, he was my first guitar teacher. No way. Back in the day. He, he taught me about, like, strings and string music. And yeah. I wasn't really that good back then. Yeah. Um, sorry, Wayne. If you're watching this, but um, you know, over the years, I've like been able to just kind of hone my craft a little bit more. But yeah, so it was dope to like reconnect with him, yeah, and bring the groove and the funk back in a different type of album. Real, and he is like the master guitar person ever, player. Listen, this like guy, the master. He'll touch your soul with the strings, <laughs> seriously, through and through, through and through. He's he's a problem. He's a problem. Yo, yeah. so with all of these like accomplishments and creations that you've had so far. Share with us a little bit about the struggle of it, like one struggle in particular that really stood out to you. So, um, I think uh, as creatives, right, yeah. we find that sometimes we want to be uh, perfect in what we're creating, Come on. you know, and that perfectionism was a big deal for me, yeah. especially with like my different processes and stuff. There was a season um, where I was spending a lot of time by myself mm -hmm. uh, due just to an injury. Mm -hmm. um, we can talk about that later, maybe, maybe not. 
And I was finding that I was like, you know, what do I want to write? Yeah. And I'd start writing songs and I'd get frustrated. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't want to do this. I'm not connecting to this music. How I feel right now is pretty down in the dumps, but I'm trying to make uplifting music or I'm yeah. trying to like talk about these things left and right. Wow. And um, personally, like I really just had to step back, kind of get out of my own way yeah. and like let myself authentically feel what I'm trying to create. Yeah. You know, sometimes as creators, we can be our own biggest enemy. Talk you know, about like it. Like we could just get in our own way of trying to accomplish something. Talk about it. And um, yeah, I think that was really like the biggest struggle. But it produced a lot of good music when I was able to kind of work through that process. A lot of good music? A lot of... A lot of great <laughs> music. <laughs> you said it. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm really excited about the stuff that's coming out because um, it was all birthed out of that season, wow. you know. So yeah, that was, that was probably the, the toughest season of my life. Just I can only imagine. Dealing with outside stuff Bro. and trying to focus on like writing real life music without sounding like everything is trash and <laughs> my friends stink and my legs broke. Like, I don't nobody want to listen to that, you know? Yeah, no, I could definitely relate with like the whole injury situation. Like mm -hmm. back in college, um, I tore my patella tendon partially. Right. I tore, I ruptured my patella tendon. This <laughs> Yo, crazy, wow. Insane. I didn't know you did that. Yeah, in wow. college and I had to red shirt and it was like a whole thing. Oh, and yeah. when you get hurt, it mentally does something mm -hmm. to you. Like mm -hmm. you can't walk. Nope. You can't run. Yep. You have to learn how to walk again. That's it's a crazy. whole process. I had to learn how to bend my knee, and yes. I was like, "This is this is trash. This what is am I weird. doing?" Yeah. You haven't like we but since we were younger. It's just instinctually okay. As mm -hmm. you grow, you pick up, you develop muscles in your legs, and you just do it. But right. having to be an adult and then learn how to do the normal functions again mm -hmm. really can take a toll. Wow, I didn't know. I didn't know that you had that happen to yeah, you. Bro. That's a dip. See, <laughs> we learn right now. Creative Connect. We here, man. That's bro. awesome. What? would you say is the most rewarding thing about being a creative? Ooh. I think it's being, um, when you create something and your art is understood. Ooh. You know, when you can actually reach out and connect with somebody. That was poetic. <laughs> <laughs> that was poetic. <laughs> Non-intentional, sometimes, you know, it just happens. But when you create something and people can say like, oh, I feel you, yeah. or I identify with you know the struggle or Word. dealing with these issues and going through it. Word. Or like the other day I had a show and someone after came, they weren't, you know, they weren't saved, they were just like a regular person. Yeah. It, was a, it was kind of a Christian concert. Mm -hmm. And they're like, yo man, like, you really touched me. Like your music like wow. ministered to my life, you know? Wow. And it's good to hear that it's not all roses or all peachy keen, right. you know? And I was like, wow, like you get it. You know, and then you can have real conversations with that. I think that's the most rewarding thing, honestly. Like, beyond all the clout and the buzz and stuff, like, when yeah. you can connect with somebody and touch yeah. their hearts, that's that's all you really want as Legit. a creator. Legit. Like, touching them through something that means so much to you mm -hmm. makes makes everything yeah. about being a creative. That's right. Bro, that's crazy. What one piece of advice would you say to somebody who's in your field or just overall as a creative? Like, if they're just starting out and they just they just need some advice, what would you tell them? I think um, having a team around you is super essential wow. because um, you can build your own ideas and then, like I said before, be your own enemy yeah. and not want to put something out. Like for a while, like I was, as artists, sometimes we connect with our work differently mm -hmm. and you can become insecure because like, this is a love song, but like, what if nobody feels me, you know? Yeah. But if you have a team around you that can critique you and give you uplifting advice or yes, you know, con constructive criticism. Mm -hmm. Then you're like, okay, this is good. This is how I can get better, yeah. you know. And then you push that out, you know. I think that's the biggest thing: having a team, you know, and and really like learning yourself, like learning the deeper parts of who you are and what it is that you're trying to convey as yeah. an artist or as an entrepreneur or a business person or yeah. anything. Like, what is your stamp? What is your brand that you're pushing through this content? Yeah, I can definitely relate to the community aspect. It's so important. Like, we both played sports, yeah, and so having a team is important for yeah. you to thrive in what you're trying to do. Mm -hmm. So that def that makes so much sense connecting that community team sports. Yeah. It, it yeah. makes so much I've sense. I learned a whole bunch about life through basketball. Yeah. Like so much, you know. RP my man Kobe. But like there was a season where I was really going through it and yeah. I was like, "You know what? Let me look at his process. Yeah. Let me see how he studied and and had his footwork all crazy and turn around spin moves and fading away and yeah. i was like yo he gets better every year that's something yeah. that i try to adapt to my creative process word. you know always getting better word so i see this dope hat that you have on and where? i just want to talk about that where oh my head oh this one so you have some merch what, what you got going yeah, on yeah right so um so i'm 
I'm poised to do some uh, merch releases this summer. Okay. Um, and I designed uh, the design this piece right here, as well as here. I'll let you hold that. Um, it's for the '40s merch. I got another one here. This is the olive, and this is the uh, the wine colorway. Mm. And then we have another one here. Uh, the '40s touches the globe. So what I'm trying to do is really promote like positivity through the '40s because yeah. this is a company that uh. It's a media-based company that yeah. I started, and yeah. it's really about collaboration, but also like pushing forward like positive yeah. content yeah. and just celebrating and championing people who are kind of doing that same thing. Yeah. So right now, um, I'm releasing music. Mm -hmm. I've got this coming out. I'm actually creating some artwork to kind of support the vision for uh, you know pushing the merch. Oh. Yeah, I, I I'm trying to put it all together, and, and I've worked with other people who have kind of helped me package this the right way. Bro. And yeah. did you design this yourself? Yeah. So because you draw and you do paintings mm -hmm. and everything. Yeah. Bro. So yeah, I designed this myself. I've done uh, some graphic art for uh, other people as well. Yeah. Um, and I'm always down to collaborate. So if you guys are out there and you want, you know, you need logos or some some merch designs and stuff, let's do it. Put that X to forties and hey. whatever else you want to do. Um, hey. But yeah, I, I designed this. I have uh, some cozy gear coming out as well oh. in the fall. So yeah, I'm just excited, man. It's gonna be a great 2020. So I heard that you helped with a book cover for a new author. Yes. That just uh, published her first book this yes, year. Yes, poetry book. Talk a little bit about that. It was um, it was a great experience. Uh, so actually, can I say this? Of course. It's your mother. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's my her mom. mom. Yeah. Um, it was an amazing process. Uh, she came to me with an idea as far as um, just birthing, uh, you know, this poetry through. A process and we were talking about like what is a process and she yeah. said a, a butterfly yeah. you think of a butterfly you think of a cocoon you think of a caterpillar and having to kind of fight your way out of your own shell and seasons to get to where you need to go to and um, so we kind of spoke back and forth yeah. and we came up with this book cover that I'm like super proud of um, and it's called press on for all that matters a poetic journey with God and y'all need to check this out I have this on my nightstand and whenever I'm going through uh, any type of uh, situation or anything, I, I grab one of these and I read it. And I'm like, oh, oh, this is great. This is great. Yeah. So your mom did that, and I was glad that I was able to work with so her. So proud of her. Yeah. So proud of her. I was. I when she showed this to me, I was like, my lord, look at this. But when I say she was so excited with what you created, mm. like it, it fueled her fire even more to wow. want to get the book out. Wow. She loves what you did. Wow. She literally loved it and talks about it still to this That's day. That's amazing. That's amazing. <laughs> and you know, and we and she told me about another idea. So I don't know if she has more books coming. Uh oh. But, if there's something else we're gonna work on, you know, stay tuned. Yeah, yeah. for real. And yeah. you also do you have you have posters with you? Yes, yes I do. So to try and um just raise some more awareness for the 40s brand and uh, some merch coming up, I'm gonna be selling some posters. Uh, this piece right here uh, was inspired by a new single called "Come Back Home" mm -hmm. that me and Rashada Johnson uh, worked on with Wayne Wilkins. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a lot going on here. It's one of those pieces that you can like put on your wall somewhere and really look at it for a while and kind of identify the different uh, layers and levels. It needs to be in a museum, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> because when you just want to look, it's like, well, what? Wow, what does this mean? Mm -hmm. You just put on your artistic hat and mm -hmm. you're just like, mm. Put on a little bean. Word. <laughs> Word. This is super dope, bro. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, so I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be selling these at different sizes. If you want to help support the vision for the 40s and for some merch coming out and just different ideas that we have rolling out in 2020, please pick one up. We have some other uh, other stuff on our website, uh, the40s.net or link. T. Uh, we can put links we, in later. We can put links in later. Okay, we'll do that later. <laughs> this is so fire, bro. Thank you. Thank I you. I really love this. Yeah. So before we wrap up, okay, we're gonna play a little game. Oh man, you know I'm with the games. <laughs> What do so, I win? What, what can I win? Um, <laughs> you win air? I don't know. All right. I, I honestly don't I know. win air. That's, that's cool with me. That's cool with me. So it's going to be like a speed round called of this or that. Have you ever heard of the game yeah, this or that? Yes. Okay. okay. So I'm going to ask you just some this or that questions and let's see what your responses are. Okay. I'm ready. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Really? Yes. I am a Spanish man. I love my bustelo. <laughs> it's either cafe con leche or just coffee black and I'm good. Yeah. Black? Oh man! Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to slow down. You want to stay with me? Just, I hear no. you. I hear you. <laughs> okay, Chick Fil A chicken sandwich or Popeyes chicken sandwich? Speed round. Ah, uh, <laughs> Chick Fil A. I'm loyal. Chick I'm loyal. It's listen. Is it cheat day? 
If it's like cheat day, I might have to go to Popeyes and get that okay. sandwich. But on the regular, on I'll the get regular Chick Fil A. Yeah. Okay. With pickles, spicy. With pickles. Oh, Three pickles. You have preferences. Yes, I do. Wow. Indeed. Oh, indeed. <laughs> Netflix or Hulu? Netflix. Netflix. Mm-hmm. Netflix. Over Hulu. Yeah, I I just I like this stuff on there. Um, I like watching good movies. I mm-hmm. like like how they rotate things. Hulu's yeah. cool. They got a lot of commercials. And it be getting on my nerves sometimes. It it really does. You know? It does. Like Netflix is just straight through. Yeah. And then the episode just loads by itself yeah. and it's just like a whole situation. And then situation. it turns off. Netflix will turn off if you go to sleep. Like Hulu. I didn't know that. I fell asleep watching a series during Hulu and it went through the whole series. What? And then my friend saw the account. She was like, oh, you watched the whole show without me. Okay. I don't want to watch it then. I was oh, like, wait, 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 hold up, hold up. It was, it was Hulu. It wasn't me. I promise. <laughs> I promise. <laughs> Bro. Okay, okay. Summer Walker or her? Her. I'm a fan of her artistry. I, I love how uh, she presents herself as an artist, and she's just so well-rounded in everything oh, that she gee. does. Yeah, Summer oh, Walker's gee. dope. She's dope. Yeah. yeah. But, like, yeah. her's a beast. And live? Yeah, no. Cut it out. It's just, she's she's just different. And I loved how when she came out, like, it was just her. Like, she had on glasses. She didn't want you to see her face. She didn't want you to know who she was. She just wanted you to hear her music, right. hear her artistry, or experience yeah. her artistry. Mm-hmm. I love that yeah. about her so much. Okay, Billy Jean or Thriller? Billy Jean. Ah, uh, <laughs> Billy Jean. Ah, that's a trick question, right? That's a trick question because Thriller's Thriller, like Thriller's a whole movie. Uh huh. But like, but Billy Jean, like ah, Billy Jean. I'm gonna stick. Billy Jean. Stick with my guns. Yeah, Billy Jean. Okay, I, I got a tough one for you. Maybe not be so tough though. Uh-oh. iPhone or Android? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> that's not why you do that to me. <laughs> Um, Do you have a personal relationship with either one of them? Have, or uh, listen, we we both dated, you know. <laughs> they both had their pros and cons. I'm currently with an Android, and uh, you know, Android. sometimes I reminisce on my old baby. You know, I, I think I got got to say iPhone. It's just it's easier to use. I got to get an iPhone again. My friends stopped group texting me because my bubbles look ugly. Listen. Yeah, they're not real. They're not. Text me again, yo. I miss y'all, man. Come on, like let's hit WhatsApp. Green please. bubbles aren't it. They're really not go it. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. Okay, last one. Okay. Roddy Rich or the baby? Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich. Over the baby? Ah, uh, yeah. I like Roddy Rich. I like his versatility. Yeah. But he's new. Like he's the new. the baby like dropped like consistent project, consistent mm-hmm. project, consistent project. Yeah. And his music always bangs, but like I like the versatility of Roddy Rich. And the yeah. Bach is my jam. You're like, what, bro? I'm making it lazy. <laughs> like, he's a problem, yo. He's a problem, man. Every time I hear that, I just start smiling and laughing. It's a good feel. I call him the Cash App Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cash App. They got to cut a check. Yo, cut the check, no, my man. No, for real, for they real. need to. For yeah. real. Well, is there anything that you want to say that you have coming out? Give them your Instagram handle okay. and so that they can, you know, find you. I bet. So um, you guys can find me on Instagram at It's Wells B. Um, you can also follow the 40s page at it, uh, excuse me, at the 40s. US. We've got a lot of good things coming out. Um, we've got some video series. Hire's going to drop soon. Uh, Flavors is out right now on all platforms. Cozy Couture is out on all platforms. We're closing up the album that's going to be dropping in August. Uh, I'll tell the name after or some other point. Just come follow us. And uh, yeah, we just got a lot of good things coming out. And if you guys are creatives that are looking to collaborate or looking for a platform, you know, hit up the 40s and let's see how we can work some things out. All right. Wow, bro. You, you. you said a whole lot in yeah. a short amount I tried, of time. I was you like, I was like, like <laughs> you hit all of them. Boom, boom. <laughs> Try to get my sniper vision on. Yeah. Bro. Well, thank you so much for dropping Yo, by. Thank, thank you for having me. This like, is dope. This is dope. Like, this conversation was so fire. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Guys. I'm a- I'm excited to see what you got coming out, yo, for real. Yo, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Okay. I'm super excited. I love, like I said, having conversations, genuine, authentic conversations yes. with like-minded people yes. who are looking to create and operate in the purpose that God has for them. Yes, you yes, know? yes. That's dope. I think that's that's why we're here. Keep on shining, girl. I see you. I see you. Do your thing. Yo, you're crazy. <laughs> Guys, thanks so much for tuning in to episode two of The Creative Combo, and I will see you next time. Right. Bye. Bye now.